The size matter. Women say yes, but how does your eGPU feel? Yeah, so it's uh, pretty solid there. All right, so I've been using the two meter cable for a good couple of weeks now and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I actually don't notice any lags, any stuttering, any, any problems with it. It runs really fast. However, I'm gonna put it to the test. I'm actually recording this part of the video, 1080p, 100 frames a second. I'm gonna be giving you the frame rate in a racing game, which means high reaction time, the frame rate using the external display, using the internal display, using a two meter cable, and using a 0.5 meter cable, and also using the external display via a Thunderbolt 3 adapter. So that means the eGPU has to send the signal back to the DGPU, and then the DGPU needs to render out the signal over to the external display. So let's get this show on the road. Can't really tell. I'm just gonna start playing this game. And we're still getting around 85 frames a second. 100 frames a second now. 110 frames a second. Basically it's running really well. And uh, I'm turning and that's my performance over there. Is the game smoother? Let's see how fast the frame rate goes. Over 100 frames at the moment, 115 maybe, 114 frames was the highest I've seen. But I'm not noticing any difference in the response time. And uh, it plays about the same. So I'm going to push it over to the internal display. Again, it's running fast, high reaction times. Going 100 frames a second here, 75, 80 frames a second there. It, it's, it's running fast. I got no complaints. Yeah, I did see it flash at 100. looking at that sensor it's not hitting 100 anymore so it's slightly slower and the lowest has been a 65 so I feel like it is isn't as responsive when it's going through the adapter here let's play it's very smooth Might be a bit more laggy, I just can't tell. It doesn't go over 100 frames a second though. All right, looking into the HDMI adapter situation, on the left is directly via Thunderbolt 3, that's either using the eGPU directly to the external display or the eGPU to the MacBook Pro. You can see that it's running faster than if you try using one of those Thunderbolt 3 HDMI adapters. And what I'll do is I'll slow it down to 2% speed so you can really see what's going on. And you can see the one on the left is actually moving probably twice as fast as the one on the right. Look at that. Yeah, clearly, maybe it's missing a V-Sync, but if you want ultimate performance when gaming, definitely attach it directly using Thunderbolt 3. But what about the reaction time? Now, what I want to see is how fast the reaction time. Let's look at that N and let's see if it changes to an R. Yeah, I couldn't tell any difference using any of the different connections. As soon as you press a button, the screen would update, even using one of those HDMI adapters. So you're all good there. All right, this is Final Cut Pro. I've got the eGPU plugged directly into the external display. I'm gonna run this at 2x speed. Now I'm gonna switch over to the internal display. Again, 2x speed. And no frames were dropped. I'm gonna switch over to 
the external display, but I'm going to plug in via the HDMI adapter. So the eGPU has to send the signal to the Mac, and the Mac has to blit the results onto the screen. So let's see what it does. Yeah, it still handles the nine film grains. So now that was a 0.5 meter cable. Now I'm gonna switch over to the two meter cable and see how well it rocks. All right, I'm back. So I'm on the eGPU via a Thunderbolt 3 cable. The eGPU is plugged directly into the external display. Let's see if it handles nine film grains. That ran fine. Gonna put it on the internal display. This is yep. Oh, we we got a frame skipped right at the end. Let's see. Oh, I guess that was a, a fluke. So finally, I'm going to switch over to the external display via. HDMI adapter connected to the MacBook. Yeah, still handled it all. All right, I hope you found the results useful. It looks like it works pretty much the same. I struggled to see a difference. The only one that's slightly slower is pumping it via a HDMI adapter and making your MacBook blit the results onto the external display. But let me know if you noticed any differences with using a two meter cable and using a 0.5 meter cable because I'm pretty much, I'm finding them the same. Make sure you get a good two meter cable. So the one I'm using, again, is the QNAP one. And that one runs really well. It carries 100 watts of power. And pretty much it's one of the best ones, if not the best one in the business, because QNAP, they're a massive brand. And secondly, all the other ones, they, they have issues. Some of them only carry 60 watts of charge. For example, the Razer one. This one can carry 100 watts of power. And it works really well on two meters. And as you can see, gaming performance uh, is, is really well. All right, hope you found that useful. Let me know what cable you're gonna get. Are you gonna get the eGPU, all that kind of stuff? I like my eGPU, I love my NAS drive. I'm very happy. All right, this is the sequencer demo running directly on the internal display. I've turned off the external display. So it's just purely being run off the eGPU with a 0.5 meter cable. So frame rate is pretty much locked at 30. So we're getting 30 point Oh, frame rates 30.1. Yeah, so it's uh, pretty solid there. Let's say it runs on the external display on play. Yeah, locked in at 30.1. So everything runs the same with this guy. Nothing to see here. Hey, all focus. Thank you. I'll try a different demo, I guess.